What would you call, for this for this bowling ball? What would you like to call the zero height for gravitational potential energy? Bottom of the bowling. So the bottom of the swing. Here is the lowest height. So you might call that zero for gravitational potential energy. What about the ball? You know, it really feels like you ought to use the floor. Feels like the floor would be the better place to measure the zero from. But it doesn't matter. I could measure the zero of gravitational potential energy for the ball at the height of this bowling ball and call that zero. And then this is positive. And when it's down there, negative gravitational potential energy. Lower than zero. Negative gravitational potential, negative potential energies are absolutely fine. It turns out they'll make a lot of sense in a week or two to have negative potential energies. On the other hand, kinetic energy has a definite value. One half the mass times the speed squared. One half is a positive number. The mass is a positive number and the square of any number is a positive number. So three positive numbers, the kinetic energy has to be positive. I'll say that more than once because I know somewhere on a graph sometime some, some of you are going to draw negative kinetic energies and some greater is going to go, nope, not possible. Kinetic energies have to be positive. Potential energies, doesn't matter. They can be positive, negative, you get to shift the zero around wherever you want it. So, lots of good questions. I have some questions for you. About these kinds of energies. First one. This is a picture of a meteor I stole from, from I stole the picture, not the meteor, uh, from, from National Geographic's website. Uh, suppose the meteor showing here is traveling at a constant speed as it drops through the atmosphere. You've probably seen pictures like this, so you know that what happened is the meteor was up there and it comes down through the atmosphere. Suppose we take the physical system, we're going to identify a physical system, or I'm going to identify one for you. The meteor, the atmosphere, and the earth. Meteor, atmosphere, and earth. As this thing falls through the atmosphere, suppose it's traveling at a constant speed. It's, when it's in the atmosphere, when it's as far down as that, it's close to a constant speed may well be almost exactly constant. As it falls through the atmosphere, what energy is decreasing? I'll give you a minute. Talk about it all you want. 